Hey class, welcome back to your English class. How are you today? I hope that you're really happy and ready to begin this super easy uh, class. All right, let's continue. Okay class, before we start, we need to make a little activity so we can wake up, all right? And this is going to be super simple, okay? You just need to pay attention. Just mimic, okay? Do the same as I do. Ready? <laughs> Excellent class. Now we are all uh, chimpanzees. Excellent. Okay, class, don't forget to write down in the comments below the date and the weather. And how do you feel today? All right? Excellent. Okay, class, today we have a really special topic and it's really simple. Okay? Today's topic is plural and irregular nouns. We're going to learn about plural and irregular nouns. Right? Okay. This is something that you already know, right? The difference between singular and plural. Super simple. Let's remember. One book. Singular or plural? Singular. One book. Two books. Singular or plural? Plural. Two books. Simple as that. Singular means that it's only one. And plural means that it's two or more. Okay? Super simple. Uh, but today we're going to remember some irregular nouns. For example, what is the plural of horse? Horses. What is the plural of book? Books. What is the plural of fish? Is it fishes? No. The plural of fish is fish. That's an irregular noun. Irregular means that they are different. The plural for these nouns are going to be different, right? But let's go to the page and let's read more about it, okay? The page is going to be 68 in your brand new book number five. Congratulations. Wink, wink. <laughs> All right, here we are page 68, right? Let's read the title, right? It says, plural and irregular nouns, review. Review means that you already know this topic, right? But let's review it. Read with me. Singular nouns tell us about one person, place, thing, or animal. Plural nouns tell us that there are more than one. To change most singular nouns into plural, we must add S at the end. Easy. Let's check. Examples. Brother. Brothers. House. Houses. Pen. Pets. Frog. Frogs. Easy piece of cake. Let's continue. Instruction. Write sentences using the plural form of these nouns. Mule and dentist. What is the plural? What is the plural of mule? Of mule. Mule. Moles, correct. Moles. But we are going to write down a full sentence, right? Full sentence. All right. Super easy. You are almost on third grade. It's not typical. Let's do it. How many moles are there? Two, right? Okay. There are two moles. Where? On the picture. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a full sentence. Good. Okay. The plural of dentist? Dentists. Super simple. Here we have a picture. What are they? Dentist. Let's write down. They are dentists. Oh, sorry. Dentists. Just like that, we finish the first exercise. How do you feel? It's difficult? Super easy, right? Let's continue. Read with me. Some nouns do not change to plural form by adding an S. 
These nouns are called irregular plural nouns and their plural forms change completely. It's just what I said. The irregular plural nouns change completely. They don't add S at the end. It's completely different. Let's check it. Example, man, plural, man, foot, feet. But I know that this is super easy because you already know all of this. But let's continue. Instruction. Write sentences using the plural form of these nouns. Tooth. What is the plural of tooth? Teeth. One sentence? Mm. My teeth are white. Period. That is the color of my teeth. Number two, policeman. What is the plural of policeman? Policeman, super easy. Okay, one sentence. Um, how many uh, policemen are there? A lot, too many, right? Let's write down. There are how many, many. There are many policemen. Police. Man, with E, plural. And a period at, at the end. Remember, always start your sentences with capital letter. Excellent. All right, class, and just like that, we finished page 68. Do you think it was difficult? Pfft, easy piece of cake. So let's continue with the page 69. And let's see what can we learn about it. Let's go. Here we are. Here we are. Page 69. Irregular nouns review. Let's read together. For nouns that end with S, X, C, H, and S, H, we need to add E, S to make them plural. S, X, C, H, and S, H, we add E, S at the end. For example, gas, gases. Axe, axes. Bitch, bitches. Dish, dishes. Super simple. Okay, let's read the instruction. Write the plural form of each noun on the line. What is the plural of inch? Inches. Good. What is the plural of dress? Dresses. Good. What is the plural of uh, bus? Buses. What is the plural of lunch? Lunches. What is the plural of fox? Foxes. What is the plural of bush? Bushes. Super easy. But let's continue. We are almost finished. Let's read together. For some nouns that end with F or FE, we must change the F or FE to the letter V. How do you pronounce this letter? V. Right? And add ES at the end to make them plural. Okay? So, if the noun ends with F or F-E, we change the F or the F-E for a letter V and we add E-S. Let's check on some, let's check some examples. For example, for example, wolf, plural, wolves, simple. Let's check some examples. Shelf, shelves, wife, Wipes. Do you see how we change FE for V and we add ES? Super easy. Let's continue. Let's read the instruction. Write the plural form of each noun on the line. Okay? Elf. 
ends on F, so we change the F for a letter of V, and we add ES at the end, and it's Elves. Good. Thief, we replace the we replace the F for V and we add E S. Thieves, good. Knife, we replace the F and the E for a V and we add E S. Knives. Wolf, we replace the F for a V and E S. Wolves. Is this super easy or what? Let's continue talking. Okay, read with me. Here are other irregular nouns that change in the plural form. There are no rules that apply to these nouns. So just, so you just have to memorize them. Okay, so we have irregular nouns that have rules. For example, if it ends on F or FE, you change to V and add ES. That is a rule. Okay, but there are some nouns that are out of the rules, doesn't have any rule. They do whatever they like. <laughs> and the only way to know what is the plural form of these nouns is to memorize them. So let's begin and start memorizing. Let's check. Die, dice, mouse, mice. That one you already know. Ox, oxen, goose, geese. Those are irregular nouns and you have to memorize them, right? And the last instruction, let's read it so we can finish this class. Write a sentence using an irregular noun from the example above. Okay, we are going to pick one of this uh, noun and we're going to make a sentence. Pick one. Mice? All right, let's use mice. My house is full of mice. Mice is a plural of mouse. And I remember when, when I used to live uh, in another place, my house one time it filled with uh, mice and it was really awful it was an infestation it was terrible okay and there class we finished the two pages of today congratulations i hope that you had some fun with this class and uh, let me know is this difficult or easy write it down in the comments all right okay as always class take pictures of this uh pages and send that send them to the correct email if you are my student to my email if you are a teacher is a student to teachers all right all right class it was really nice to see you again and i will see you on the next class all right take care be safe hello class this is teacher ivan teacher ivan zini from the future and i'm here to tell you what materials you are going to need for the next class right which is arts this friday Okay, the materials you're going to need are the materials you're going to need are glue. It can be this kind of glue or the stick one. Okay. Glue, sheet of paper, and sugar. This is sugar, it's not coffee. I know it looks like coffee, but it's sugar. Sugar. Alright? Not too much sugar, but a little bit of sugar. All right, okay, and I will see you uh, on uh, Friday for arts, okay? This is art, the materials you need, all right? All right, bye.